Welcome back. It's Saturday. I'm in here nice and early, uh, all set up and ready to go for opening at one o'clock uh, today. Nice autumnal day outside, uh, nice and bright, might bring a few people out. It was a bit wet and miserable yesterday, but we still had quite a good Friday. Uh, we're all set up. Bar is all set to go. We've got Wobbly Bob, Hoffman Gold, 1872 Porter, Yorkshire Pride, and uh, always on. Uh, old Mill Traditional Bitter. Bar set up, I'm gonna have a little look down the cellar shortly and we are good to go for one o'clock. Just to give you a little bit of a tour, uh, the Big Six is a unique pub. Uh, it's in a row of terraced houses. Uh, I'm not sure how many more of these there are left in the country, uh, but we've been here in this row of terraced houses since the 1850s. Uh, we were originally known as the Bowling Green Inn, uh, but then it adopted the unofficial name of the Big Six. It had been known unofficially as the Big Six for many, many years uh, when it was rebranded by Tetley's uh, in the 1980s. Uh, it's a small, multi-roomed pub. Um, so let's have a little, uh, a little tour. It won't take long, it's not that big. Um, so we have two doors, uh, one entrance here on Thomas Street West. This corridor goes straight through the pub to the opposite side on Horsefall Street. Going into here we have what is known as the lounge, known as the lounge because it has carpet. Uh, we've got the open fire. Uh, we've got these photos uh, from um, a book uh, called the Big Six Chronicles. Uh, some sort of vintage customers. You can see the remains of the old uh, call buttons, long since disconnected. Um, it was a Tetley's pub um, until the 1990s. Uh, they restored it um, back to this sort of uh, state in the 1980s. Coming around here, we have what used to be known as the games room when we first started coming in here in the uh, 19, late 1980s. There used to be a dartboard here. Another small room. At one time, there used to be a jukebox on that wall. Um, in the corridor here, there used to be an enormous cigarette machine. In the days of smoking in pubs. We've got a collection of whiskey bottles going around the walls, as well as Brewerianna. And a selection of glasses, old and new. Big Six is a little unusual in that as you walk in the door, you can't see the bar. So as you walk in either door, you walk through this entrance here to the bar. And then we have what are known locally as the Snugs, one with carpet here. This was the spot where we used to spend our six form days talking to uh, some of the locals. Again, various Bruriana around the top and on the opposite side another smaller snug. Good seat to have in the corner where you can place your beer on the bar. The bar itself is tiny. Not a lot of room to work behind there. Nice and compact. As I think I've said before, five pumps. We always have the uh, Old Mill traditional beer, uh, traditional bitter, and then we have four rotating pumps. We always have one session strength pale ale, one uh, dark beer of varying strength. This one is uh, this Elland 1872 Porter is quite a strong one at six and a half percent. We always have one uh, sort of mid-range strength beer, usually a, a, a pale or a golden ale, uh, but between that sort of four and five percent. 
and then we always have one strong beer uh, on this pump. The idea that, that you know the, there's always that uh, choice, different breweries, but there is always that choice of a session, a dark, a medium, and a strong. <laughs> Going through into the back, this room wasn't converted until the late uh, 1990s. Got the old range in here. Um, this is an unofficial games room. We do have the dartboard, a selection of um, board games, and sort of a new addition. Uh, with our connection to the school across the road, Crossley Heath School, uh, a collection of photos um, from my time at the school, my sixth form photograph, my fifth form photo, uh, as well as some other photos that have been donated uh, by customers, uh, including this very generous donation, school photo from 1997. Ladies' toilet, gents is round by the front door, and then in this back room, cellar off to the right, and then this is our storage and uh, washing area here. So small, compact, um, right I'm just going to have a little look down the cellar and see that we're all set up for today. I did check things last night around midnight uh, just as we were closing up yesterday. We're all tapped, we're all vented. Looks like the 1872 port is close to going, but going on next we have Dark Angel from the Durham, Durham Brewery. The old mill shelf here, uh, I do need to replace a uh, barrel there, but we're all tapped, ready to go. And then underneath, the Yorkshire Pride is getting quite close to going. But another, another Durham beer here, Scenic Brew, is due to go on. We're all nice and organised down here. I'm happy to go uh, for a Saturday now. I think we're all set. Uh, so I think it's time for a brew. Five minutes or so before we open the doors. One thing I am going to do, it is a little bit cool. Uh, it's gonna, probably gonna get colder later on. So we don't have any central heating in the pub. So I am just going to light the fire. uncomfortable than I was expecting. I uh, slipped last night on a wet pavement with some uh, squashed fruit that had fallen onto the pavement and uh, cracked my knee. So uh, bending yeah, is, uh, is, a little bit more, uh, is a little bit uncomfortable at the minute. Uh, anyway, fire's lit. Seems to be doing okay. Right, I'm gonna get that brew and then have five minutes before we open up. One of the things I've done for a bit of marketing is uh, these little postcards available for free around the pub. Uh, one thing I haven't done is uh, film when we've actually been open just to show uh, what a lively little, um, lively little pub that we are. Um, I don't think that's the right thing to do when people have come in here for a drink and then to have a camera put in the face. Um, so that's why a lot of this uh, material has been uh, behind the scenes at the Big Six. Uh, I'm gonna do a social media post, just let people know what beers are on because it has changed from yesterday. Oh, the sun's bright in here. And then that's it, we're ready to go. So, 
So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this content from the Big Six. Um, the links down below. Uh, and we do hope to see you in here at some stage. Thanks for watching.